Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Welcome back folks to an abstract painting which I'm gonna call Secret Gardens. I have planned to work in a series of secret gardens just purely with abstract. I don't think I'm going to show you every painting I'm going to do in this series, as I think it's going to be a little bit boring for you to watch. Just let me know if you disagree. Anyway, here we go with some explanation what kind of materials I have used. As you have seen so far, I did start on a heavy watercolor paper. This one is from Stratmore. It's about 20 by 20 inches or 50 by 50 centimeters. I did start with mark making and have used several mediums like the art graph graphite disc, colored pencils, wax crayons, a Stabilo oil pencil and a homemade stencil. And I also have in between the layers added some gesso. Here you can see me preparing my Stay Wet palette for acrylic paints. This helps to keep my paints longer fresh. I am gonna play with acrylic paints first in the cool array. I simply add splashes of colors all around the paper. But I also use the end of the brush to make marks again into the fresh paint. This reveals some of the underpainting. Now I'm using scrap papers to remove some of the paint. I do use a heat tool between the layers, mostly to keep some of the shapes that are already there, but also between warm and cool colors so I don't get mud. From time to time I also use a wet towel to move paint around. Time for another layer. This time I'm gonna go for the reds. That can be like magenta, true red, pink, sometimes also some uh, neon, whatever just feels right at the moment. And as you may have noticed or maybe not, yellow goes with both color families, it means with the blues like the cold ones or the reds like the warm ones. So I have yellow here too. For the next layer I decided to add a little bit of glazing medium just to make the paint a little bit more translucent so I don't lose what I have painted before. Now it is time for the neutral colors. Here I'm using again with glazing medium to make it more transparent a uh, titan buff and a neutral grey. 
going back to the blues, but again with a glazing medium so I don't cover up everything, I add yet another layer. So far I have used a flat brush for the bold shapes, but now I'm switching to a regular brush to outline certain elements. I also grabbed the wax crayons again to add more marks. As I said in the beginning, this is a secret garden series I'm gonna start here. And the secret garden always has a pathway. But it is an abstract painting, keep that in mind. So that's my symbol for the pathway. And now I'm painting in the greens. And here I come in again with another brush. To make these marks that look a little bit like flower pots, I use a round brush. And here an even finer round brush for the details in black. Here I'm mixing with some uh, glazing medium again, Titan Buff and Titan White, just to get sort of an off-white.
Making marks with any kind of pencil gives you just a different look, so that's what I do here. One of my last steps was adding some highlights with a white china marker besides, of course, the signature which I do with the permanent ink. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care!